This is Donald, and this message is from Miguel Rodriguez, a great guy, a tremendous guy, a hardworking patriot who loves God, family, and country. And on behalf of me and Milani, we'd like to congratulate you, okay? We heard you're retiring from the United States Air Force after 24 years. That's a great number. You know, a lot of people, they don't talk about it. I talk about it. It's a great achievement. Look, most guys who join the military, they're not like me and you. They're not tough. They're not strong. They give up and they quit very quickly. But you hung in there. You had a very tough job. It wasn't easy, right? You were in Panama, in Greece, in Langley, and then you were in the New York National Guard. And, you know, when I heard about your retirement, you know I thought it was fake news. I thought it came from CNN, the Corrupt News Network. They're horrible. Their ratings are lower than Sleepy Joe's IQ, right? They're terrible. And then you got NBC, which stands for nothing but crap. It's part of the Comcast Network. They're terrible. Their ratings are so low. And there's only one network I like, and I think you know what it is. I love Fox, Fox News, and OAN, and Newsmax. They're doing wonderfully. But, you know, when I heard about it, I had to reach out to a couple of friends of yours, and they told me it's true that you're retiring, and I want you to know that I'm looking at you very closely for my 2024 administration. I think you're very talented. I think you're very smart, and I like winners. You know, when you were four years old, you knew that you wanted to be in the military when you saw the U.S., Marines kicked Castro right out of the Dominican Republic. That was a great victory, a fantastic victory. And ever since then, you've, you've really given your whole life to it. And no one loves the military more than I do. I think you know that. When I took over the military, the cupboards were bare. We were the laughing stock of the world. It was depleted, you know that. And I built it up. We got big bombs and shiny missiles and we have ships that are so big, they don't even fit on the ocean. Our military is now scarier than Rosie O'Donnell at a nude beach. So I want you to know that we're coming back in 2024. I want you to work closely with me. We're going to win. It's going to be a great victory over Sleepy Joe, who's hiding in the basement. The guy needs a GPS just to get out of the house. And we know the election was rigged. It was a hoax. I call it the big fix. That's what it was. It was the big... F Look, I was up by a lot. You know that, right? I was up by a lot. And then late at night in some of these counties, there was a massive dump. And when I say massive dump, I'm not talking about Chris Christie after eating at a buffet. I'm talking about illegal ballots that were coming in through, like, the ceiling and coming in through leather briefcases. It's horrible. It's terrible. And it's a disgrace. And the Democrats should be ashamed of themselves. And by the way, I call them Democrats because when I win, they're going to crap right in their pants, right? And I want you to know that we're coming back very strong. And you look at my rallies, we got millions of people showing up. And then you look at Sleepy Joe, and 10 people would show up at his rallies, and six were his doctors. He doesn't even know he's alive. One night he kissed his sister on the lips, he thought it was his wife. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know where he is. But I want you to know that I've talked to many people about you, and they all love you, and they said, you got to hire Miguel. He's so wonderful, and I know that you're helping out at the church, and you're a great Christian. I like that. And you carry the, the Constitution right in your pocket. I like that a lot. But, you know, the Democrats, they want to take our guns. They want to take our God. We're not going to let that happen, okay? So I want you to know that I'm inviting you down to Mar-a-Lago. I want you to bring your beautiful wife, Jackie. You've got a great relationship. You love her. Your marriage is built on love and respect. And it reminds me a lot of me and Melania. And me and Melania, we get along very well because she doesn't speak English. Anyway, you look wonderfully. You're in great shape like me. You know, I just got a physical. They couldn't believe it. My doctor said, Donald, you're 90% muscle, you're 10% money. Not bad, right? And I want you to bring your kids down, Stephanie, Christine, and your son, Mike. We got a great family, and I know Melania is very excited to see you all, okay? 
So anyway, let's get together. We're going to come back. It's going to be wonderful. You know, the Democrats, they're very corrupt. You got Hillary. She's totally corrupt. You know, when Hillary walks down the street, you know when she walks down the street, did you know she wobbles? She wobbles. You know why she wobbles? Because she's crooked. She's totally crooked. And her husband, I call him Cheating Bill. Cheating Bill, one of the worst presidents in the history of the world. For eight years, his taxes were up while his pants were down, right? Not good. And then you got crazy Bernie Sanders and the manifesto. And crazy Bernie's 175 years old. He'll be dead very soon. I'll be calling him Bernie on the gurney. So anyway, I know you were in Washington Heights, New York. You're a New Yorker. You're moving down to Florida. You'll be very close to me. And I'm very proud of you that you were the only brown skin guy to vote for me. A lot of people gave you a hard time for that. I know that. So I want you to know that we love you. Have a great day. We'll see you very soon. And God bless.